Shabbat Shalom to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. First of all, Kal Halayim La Yahweh Bah Hashem Yahweh Shai Waha Racha Kodash. Double honor goes to the apostles of Great Millstone GMS who are ruling well and teaching well through the Spirit. Enough respect, blessings, citations goes to the Achim pushing this 100% gospel, this good news, the world over in sincerity. Honesty and truth, all in the name of Yahweh, Bah Hashem Yahweh Shai. Adawan Rapazar, which means Lord willing. So, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. And, you know, it's, it's craziness upon craziness, and wickedness upon wickedness, and it, it's just going to get worse and worse and worse. As you can see from this title, from this headline on your screen, some end time headlines once again. Recent article. And look at that, that's the spirit, look at that. Days of Noah. Synthetic human embryos have just been created in a lab with no egg or sperm. And guess what people are behind that? The so-called white man, Esau Edom. The vile, the disgusting, the wicked. Okay. The perverse. The filthy. You name it. So it says, human embryos made without eggs or sperm have been created in a scientific breakthrough that is bound to raise serious ethical and legal questions. That's right. This is certainly unethical. Okay. And it's certainly against the Hawa Bah Hashem Shai. Okay. What happened to the normal way of being fruitful and multiplying? Okay. That you have to resort to this stupid experiment all in the name of science because they like to push science heavily. Right, and even if you go back to like the Middle Ages, okay, scientific minds back then they they believed in a creator, okay. Science, okay, they they things that they you know discovered, okay, they gave you know praises to the creator, all right. And it went hand in hand, science and and the Most High went in hand in hand. Now you saw he separated that. He he wants you to choose between the Lord. And science, that's why they push the Big Bang Theory, which is just a theory. They push evolution, which is just a theory. Alright, it's not been proven. Okay. But these devils, man, they, <laughs> they want you to follow that atheist route. Okay. They were produced in a joint project between Cambridge University and the California Institute of Technology and resemble embryos in the early stages of human development. According to the Daily Mail, they do not have the beginnings of a brain or a beating heart, but do include cells that would go on to form the placenta and yolk sac. And no matter how hard they try, they'll never, <laughs> they'll never create life the way the Most High did. Okay, scientists believe that their findings could provide significant insight and aid research into rare genetic disorders and the biological causes of miscarriage. And really, you know, when it comes to you know, bearing children, women bear children. It's the Lord who opens the womb and who cl and closes the womb. All right, He decides when a woman becomes pregnant. Okay, life and death are in His hands. Okay, and this devil has that God complex where he wants to <laughs> play God. Okay. Until this breakthrough, scientists had to adhere to the 14-day rule, which meant. They were limited to allowing embryos to develop in a lab for a maximum of two weeks. After this point, researchers would have to wait until further along its development to pick up their study, relying on pregnancy scans and embryos denoted, donated to research. The desire to understand this period of an embryo's development, which starts at day 14 and ends around 28, was the main motivation behind the work to create synthetic human embryos. Professor can't be bothered with that name. A fellow at the University of Cambridge described the work yesterday at the International Society for Stem Cell Research's annual meeting in Boston. We can create human embryo-like models by the reprogramming of embryonic stem cells. Before the talk, she told The Guardian, it's beautiful and created entirely from embryonic stem cells. It's really an abomination, actually. While it is not yet clear to synthetic embryos could continue developing beyond their early stages, implanting them into a patient's womb would be illegal, and there is no near term prospect of them being used for medical purposes and that's the end of that article so it says while it's not yet clear if the synthetic embryos could continue developing beyond their early stages implanting them into a patient's womb would be illegal okay and if this, this devil had his way <laughs> this would have been legal a long time okay 
very much. This is what we see, man. Okay, we're coming to a time like no other before, since there was a nation. Alright, and wickedness is just <laughs> abounding, iniquity is abounding, the love of money waxing cold. Okay. So, you know, that's the, that's the times that we're in, man. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 16. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person. And profane means outside the temple. It goes back to the Latin word profanum. Okay. It says Esau, who for one more sort of meat sold his birthright. For you know that how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. For he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. Okay. And Esau is the most profane person, man. Okay. The devils do all sorts of disgusting and vile acts. Okay. And now to this. And that's that Babylonian wine, that false doctrine that they push on all these other nations everywhere. Okay. That's how you know Esau and Jacob are two manner of people that are different. Okay. We don't do things, we don't even attempt to do things like this. It's not in our, our nature to do these things, man. At all. Job chapter 15. Verse 16. How much more abominable and filthy is man which drinketh iniquity like water? And this is a perfect description of Esau Edom. Abominable, filthy. <laughs> and he's perfect in his wickedness, in his iniquity, man. Okay. Everything he, he does, he masters it. Okay. To, the whole, to a whole new level. Look at look with the pride he got. Not only is it Pride Month, just over halfway in you know in, in this Pride Month for this whole month of June, they've got a, a flag for that. Now, see, <laughs> wickedness. Get Psalms chapter fourteen. Start from the top. Psalms chapter fourteen, verse one. All right. A psalm of Malach that with our King David. Verse 1 reads, The fool hath said in his heart, meaning mind, the Hebrew word for that is la'av, meaning the mind, there is no power or God. God just means power, judge, ruler. Okay. They are corrupt, they have done abominable works, there is none that doeth good. That's right, these Edomites, man. They're the, they're the biggest atheists on this planet. Okay. Look at Dr. Stephen Hawking. For for an example, the word doctor means to falsify. Alright. And look where he ended up with a wheelchair. And of course he's perished now. Alright. They're corrupt. And all the and all their their um their works bear witness to exposing themselves and the wickedness that they do. That's what their works you know that's the evidence of their works, man. They're corrupt. The things that they do, the things that they say. Alright. It's backed up by their actions, man. Abominable works. And this is this is this isn't good whatsoever. Okay. Let's get Psalms fifty and seventeen. This reads Psalm chapter fifty verse seventeen. Seeing thou hatest instruction and castest my words behind thee. That's what they do, man. Alright? They disregard the Bible. They like to say, you know, Great Britain is a, is a Christian country, yet they legalised the funny man behaviour. Okay? <coughs> Babylon the Great was founded upon Freemasonry, not Christians. Okay? Alright? These these devils don't push the Bible whatsoever, man. Not, not so ever. They don't abide by the law, statutes, the commandments written therein. Okay? They hate the instruction. Alright? They cast the words behind them and come up with their own wicked, unrighteous decrees and laws. Alright? And they want you to look at them as God. As the Most High. You know? First John chapter 3. Verse 10. In this, the children of the Most High Power, whose name is Yahweh, I am manifest, and the children of the devil, whosoever doth not righteousness is not of Yahweh, neither 
He that loveth not his brother. So this is the message that you heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. Verse 12. Not as Cain, who was of that wicked one, and slew his brother Abel. And wherefore slew he him, because his own works were evil and his brother's righteousness. Sorry, and his brother's righteous. That's right. You know. Going back to that, you know, in the garden and the sacrifice. Okay. Because Cain brought forth, you know, a wicked sacrifice in the form of fruit. Alright. Contrary to Abel. Okay. And Cain represents Esau, right, in this pre-incarnation, and Abel repre uh, represents Jacob, right. And Cain in the Hebrew goes back to Koyan, which means weapon. And who's blessed with the weapon? The sword, Esau, Edom. Okay, so it's that spirit coming back, right. You know, and Esau, Edom still wants that birthright back. That's why, he's, you know, <coughs> he's pushing forth the MOTD gradually but surely, and conditioning the the masses. Therefore, to you know, to <coughs> be in subjection to him, to take part in, in that system, that new world order. Alright? But Yahabash Mahasha is gonna break his plans. Okay. Like it says in Job. Right, and he's gonna bring forth his righteous new new world order. Okay. Which is very near. Alright. That's it. Yeah, the days that we're in, man. And where's like Bokab Malone and things like this? He's quiet. Where are all the, you know, the scoffers when it comes to, all right, stuff like this, man? Because they're they're putting this out there on the internet for people to see. This isn't hidden. Okay. But you know, Bokab Malone has another agenda. Matthew chapter 24, verse 38, 38 first, okay, and Yahweh Shai said this because it's written in red clearly, it says, for as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until that, until the day that Noah entered into the ark, <laughs> sorry, entered into the ark, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away, so shall also the, con the coming of the Son of Man be, right, the people, right, going to be carrying on with their worldly folly, right, eating and drinking and giving into marriage, as usual, but that's why we, we're blowing that spiritual trumpet for our people, the so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans, and the Israelite foreigners, speckled birds, who are the children of Israel, the true biblical Hebrew Israelites, to repent and turn back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, because this flood is going to be a flood of fire. Alright. <clears throat> and we see, and these are the heathens, that's why the Lord's not dealing with them, these are the heathens. They don't care about the Lord, they don't care about God at all. So that's at the back of their mind. Alright? And these people are going to be taken suddenly. Because the same spirit's coming back from those days. Alright? So there you go again. Days of Noah. Synthetic human embryos have just been created in a lab with no egg or sperm. See? That's the stats. This is the world we're in, man. This is the wickedness. This is where we're coming to, man. So, Lord within the session was edifying, with that, Shabbat Shalom to the elect.